Hi, welcome to Poland's Live Top Tips for Pole Dance Competition Preparation. My name is Mai, and I am the founder of Pole in Style and co-author of our Pole Dance Competition Prep Guide. Today's tips is about choosing the right competition to enter. Not all competitions suit your style or meet your requirements. Choosing the right pole dance competition to enter, especially if you are to compete for the first time, can really make or break your experience. There are four criteria you should consider. The first one is the competition itself. Number one, what type of the competition it is. Is it pole art, theater, sport, or exotic? They all have different rules and requirements. What is your style? Do you prefer clear rules or freedom to create your performance? Does this competition fit your style? Second, which category does this competition offer? For example, amateur, semi-pro, or professional. Does it match with what you are looking for? Some competitions are only open for professional level, while others are only for amateurs. Third, where is it located? It is important to consider the location, especially if it requires a lot of traveling and high expenses. Fourth, when will the competition take place? Do the date and time fit with your schedule? And finally, what are the judging criteria? What are the requirements for costume, music and performance? Can you easily understand what the judges are looking for? Second, video application. Some require video application while others, especially post-sport competitions, do not. So does the competition require video application? If so, when is the deadline? What are the judging criteria for your video application? What are the requirements for custom music and performance? Can you easily understand what the judges are looking for? And finally, when will you get the results? May you also receive feedback from the judges. Third, budgeting. Entering a competition isn't cheap. There's a lot of money involved from training to costume to traveling. It is important to have an overview of potential expenses and plans to cover them. So what is the competition fee? Make sure you don't overpay for the competition fee. In 2019, we did a survey and asked participants about the experience with pole dance competitions they had taken part in. One question was, how much participants paid for the application fee per competition? 41% of participants in our survey answered that they paid on average over $50 per application. In reality, the fee can vary from $30 to $40 up to $100. It is understandable that competitions with no video entry charge higher price than those requiring video entry. It is because without video entry, anyone can apply and perform on stage. This means the organizer may end up with hundreds of contestants and having a higher fee may limit the number of entries. Before you apply, consider the fee. What does it include? Is it acceptable? What is the travel cost to the competition? Could you possibly afford it? What is the potential cost for training and preparation for the comp competition? And also what is the potential cost for costume, makeup and props? And finally, what are the costs you need to take into account? Like insurance, physiotherapy, private lessons. Finally, the final criteria is the competition organizer. This factor is almost overlooked by every contestant. Not every organizer treats you respectfully and professionally. Not every competition leaves you with a satisfying feeling of achievement, like yes, I finally did it. Some would leave you with a bitter taste in your mouth and make you wonder whether it was worthwhile at all to compete. So here are the few things you should consider when evaluating an organizer. Can you find any previous contestants whom you can ask for review? Like, how was the experience? What did they like and dislike? If not, can you contact the judges? 
Is there any judge you can contact and ask with his or her opinion of how the competition was organized? The competition should offer a positive experience for everyone who is involved, contestants, judges, audience, sponsors, and staff. Could you find all the necessary information about the competition on the website? Application, fee, deadline, rules, location, date and time, sponsors and prices. A good organizer will go as far as providing you with information regarding transport, accommodation and restaurants. How long does it take for the organizer to respond to your inquiries? The quicker they answer, the more efficient and effective they are. Keep in mind though that most organizers do this on a voluntary basis, so give them time to respond. Be considerate in your email and include only questions that you cannot already find answers online. Write a clear and concise email. Don't wait until the deadline to ask questions. However, if it takes you more than two weeks to get an answer or you have to send several reminders, you may want to reconsider applying to the competition. You'll find more tips about our pole dance competition prep guide. The guide contains over 100 pages with useful tips on music, choreography and forward, training program, budgeting, what to do pre, during and post competition, dealing with stress and anxiety, worksheets and calendar for your planning, and so much more. It is the result of one year research combining both personal experience, online resources, academic journals, interviews and surveys. You can get this guide as downloadable PDF version or printed version. Visit poinstyle.com to find out more. Remember, choosing the right competition to enter can make or break your experience. <laughs>